Hello everyone, I'm North Scorpio and I'm 32 years old today. Another revolution around this sun and another revolution boiling within. I've been taking this day for the last couple of years now to reflect on what successes or failures or shortcomings or whatever I've had over the last year and what I'm going to work towards changing or thinking about in this the year to come. And I think one of the things I want to do is fix where I sit on the camera. There we go. It was so short. Now, in the last year, my life has been completely uprooted. As I talked about a little bit before, that <clears throat> nine years of a relationship ended in September of last year. I moved out into my own place. I have since started to rebuild myself. But this year has honestly been one of the lowest points of me moving towards that. And there's a lot of social and political shit that has been going on in my mind in the last couple months, and especially in the last month, Free Palestine. <clears throat> and I, I feel radicalized. I feel like we really need to demolish a lot of things and start fresh. Capitalism is failing us in the planet and humanity. And it sickens me. In the last month, I've participated in the first protest that I actually went out to. I've been reading about all of the conflicts going on. I don't want to call them conflicts because they're almost all massacres deplorable what's happening and the fact that it's taken over a month for governments in the free world to even start to acknowledge that the people that they govern and are supposed to be the voice of are not happy with their decisions and are actually starting to change their mind and their perspective and platform is just uh, uh, the biggest display of why we need to try again. Do a hard reset on what we call the political scape. There's homeless people outside my apartment every day. That's not right. There are children being bombed in Palestine. That's not right. That's not okay. People in Congo are being genocided, and it's not even being talked about because of other conflicts. And I don't mean to try and make like say that it's not a good thing that we're talking about other conflicts, but it's going under the rug, which is a problem. So the next year for me is to continue to stay educated to peel back barriers, peel back the layers that I've been deconstructing for the last 15 years since I realized that the things that I was raised on are largely flawed or false. Continue to put myself into that uncomfortable space of accepting that the way that I see the world or the way that the world is presented by media is not the way that it actually is. And I think we all need to be more aware of that. And when I say we all, I mostly mean people with this complexion. Because you all like to sit in your dark, quiet, comfortable little hole. And pretend that because you don't see it, it doesn't exist or it can't affect you. It still does. You, you feel it in your wallet feel it in the people that are unable to afford homes or groceries 
It's there. And eventually, when it hits you full on, if you continue to stay in the dark, the people that have been crying out for years may not be as interested in helping you because you weren't interested in helping them. Think about where you fall in history. That's all I got to say. This is a weird sort of dark <laughs> reflection this year. But you know what? It's been a weird and dark month of eye-opening. And I'm not done. We are still going to stream today. I try. I'm going to... There, the goal is to maintain um, some level of sanity when the world chooses to be insane and not listen to itself. <clears throat> Links on my Twitch channel towards Palestinian aid. If I do make any money, I'll donate that. We'll see. Stay safe. Push yourself out of your comfort zone. Break down the walls that have been built up around you to make you feel safe. Because the world is not a safe place. And I'll see you all later. <laughs>